Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about our Resin Forest Crack Gel. This is a four hour fast cure product. It's 100% solids epoxy. It's just in gel form, kind of like Vaseline. So it's a two component product, A and B, two parts of A to one part B, so it's a two to one ratio. You can mix it with a stir stick or a mixer if you like, but stir stick, kind of like you're mixing, I don't know, Bondo or something is probably the easiest way to explain it. Uh, but this gel is ideal for doing small little touch ups and cracks spalls, control joints, uh, maybe something that you missed when you're doing your primary prep, uh, you know, if you're using Easy Men for all the cracks and, and spalls throughout the whole floor. And then maybe once you're done grinding that and cleaning all up, you notice you missed a small spall or you miss uh, maybe a part of the crack up against the wall and you don't want to go through the whole process of filling, waiting, grinding, clean up, and, and then put your epoxy down. Maybe we're at the stage now where we're just ready to put our epoxy and we need to fill in a little spall. So I'm gonna mix up some of this gel. I'm gonna putty it in there with a little putty knife, wipe it flush, and then I can put my epoxy right on top of it because this is 100% solids epoxy. And with our primer, it is compliant. You can go wet on wet and put our flake shield or our R400 right on top of this. Just pull it flush, scrape it flat, and then you know just continue on with your epoxy system. So we have a lot going on with this concrete, a lot of different cracks and spalls and craters and joints. So I'm gonna show you process in all of the above. Some of it I'm gonna cut, some of it I'm not. And then that way you guys can pick and choose how you wanna use the product, but I'm gonna just demonstrate the functionality of it and then you can go from there. So first off, we're gonna start doing some cutting. Then I'm gonna open these up, get mixing, and then apply it. All right, you can see we just did a little bit of a cut here and a little bit of a cut here. There's also a couple of hairline cracks here, some larger cracks here, and then a crater going that way. So a couple different ways to fill cracks. Always, always though, make sure it's fully prepped. So if I was only grinding this floor, I would not want to just smear in my gel up here because that's not properly prepped. However, if I'm shot blasting the whole floor, you know, maybe grinding and shot blasting or just shot blasting, then going over this with a shot blaster would clean out that crater so that way the, the surface, even though it's very jagged and it's not cut, at least it's prepped by the shot blaster. In that case, I would put my gel into that. Uh, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do it anyway. But on a job site, I would only fill a crater like that with Easy Mend or gel if it's properly prepped first. Or the alternative is just cut it like I did here, and then that is your prep. So cutting a joint, cutting a crack, and then maybe filling a hairline crack like this, we just wanna make sure we get a good bond. So I'm gonna mix this on a piece of cardboard, and you can see there, it's basically a paste. Same thing here, it's a paste. So it's not gonna just dump out, it's not a liquid. So I'm gonna take a scoop. Of that, I'm gonna use a separate stick to go into my B because I don't want this curing in the cup. I'm gonna try to go for maybe a half a scoop, try to get as close as a two to one as possible. This is essentially my part A, this is my part B, that way I'm not cross-contaminating. And then I'm just gonna use my putty knife to fold it over on the cardboard. Just wanna make sure it's fully mixed. Once I know that my A and my B are fully intertwined, mixed together, then I'm just gonna smear it into my cut, into my spall, whatever imperfection in the concrete that I have. And again, this is a four hour cure. It is a fast cure epoxy. It's not quite as fast as our Easy Mend, which is only 20 minutes. But the intention here is to not grind it. The intention here is to fill my spall or my crack flush, and then just pour my epoxy over it so there's no downtime. You can use this for a little touch up, so you can use this you know, for the entire floor. The way I prefer to do it is use the Resin Force Easy Mend for the entire floor and then just use this for the little touch-ups. But whatever you want to do, it's fine by me. So basically I've got a little bit on my putty knife here. I'm going to start with my, my crater. I'm just going to fill part of it because I don't want to run out. And I'm just going to smear it in. Of course I'm going to push it in because I want to get the surface tension broken on both walls of the crater and then I'm gonna to wanna to scrape it flush so that it's not recessed. 
similar for my cut. I'm just gonna force it down in right here. And my hairline crack. So I got a little hairline crack there. And that is almost like grout coating. I'm essentially grout coating that hairline crack or maybe a couple small spalls. Maybe I got a spall there and I just wanna kind of fill that in or maybe a scratch in the concrete like that. And just pull it flush. And then the same thing for my, my joint here. I, I ran out here, but you can see the process is really just taking it and mushing it in and then just feathering it flush. You just have to be careful that you don't push it down in too much and then squish it out because they're gonna have a recessed concave spot in the joint. Uh, if you do that, of course, just mix up more, fill it, and then just scrape it flush this way. When I'm pushing down, I'm just lightly pushing down because I don't want it to drag and then create a concave surface. I want it to be flush straight across. So this one's a little bit more flush. This one's a little bit concave. I ran out of my cardboard for demonstration purposes, but in this case, I would mix up a little bit more, apply it over that, and then just fill that over a little bit there. So that's our Resin Force Crack Gel, Fast Cure. It's a four hour cure time. Uh, you can wait for it to completely cure out and then grind it if you're overfilling it. Or now we could just put our epoxy on top of this and go wet on wet and just continue up with our floor system. Awesome product for doing small spalls and cracks that maybe you missed with your main prep. Uh, but you can also use it for your main prep. You can choose. My goal is to give you options and then you can go from there. If you have any questions, feel free to comment at the bottom of this video and I'll be happy to answer anytime. Have a good day.